Finally, you may justifiably ask why you should listen to anything I have to say. I don't have a degree in theology. I'm not a preacher. I don't represent or speak for any church. I'm not asking you to join any church. And also, I'm not asking for any of your money. So what am I asking for? Before we get started in today's storyboard timeline uh, of the Great Tribulation, I would like to share with you some of my general feelings on this subject and a little bit of my background. I started studying Bible prophecy seriously about 10 years ago when I retired from work. Over the years, I, I had listened to many different preachers from various religious groups share with what they believe regarding prophecy. Some sermons were interesting and were presented very smoothly by the preachers, uh, using many uh, colorful props and charts, but I felt that something was missing in their presentation. So I began to study prophecy seriously uh, by, for myself or by myself when I retired. So the prophecy story that I'm about to share with you will probably sound crazy to you, but I firmly believe that it's what the Bible teaches. It will take you a few minutes viewing this video and others before you can get the overall prophecy picture that I'm trying to paint. Before we get into our story today, I want to give you a little more background about myself. I graduated from a vocational educational high school in Waterbury, Connecticut with a journeyman's electrical license. I then went on to get my associate degree and a bachelor of science degree in electrical engineering and have worked over 40 years in the engineering field. And uh, I did retire about 10 years ago and I was the uh, international product line manager of a large co uh, electronics company that made automation controllers that were used to control various machines and industrial processes. So you can imagine with all my engineering years behind me that I am dealing with a lot of technical issues that when I started studying prophecy, I brought with me my engineering analytical thinking to investigate these prophecies. So this is the result of my work. So over several years of prophecy studies, I came to the conclusions that I'm going to share with you today and in future videos. Finally, you may justifiably ask why you should listen to anything I have to say. I don't have a degree in theology. I'm not a preacher. I don't represent or speak for any church. I'm not asking you to join any church. And also, I'm not asking for any of your money. So what am I asking for? Well, the only thing I'm asking is, is that you take time to listen to enough of my videos to see if you, if anything that I share with you has the ring of truth for you. Let the Holy Spirit convince you of the truth or fallacy of this message. <laughs> 